Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is the day that he has made for you and me. You and I required. We should rejoice and to be glad in it. God has so much in store for you and I thank God for you. If you're starting your day with us, coming alongside of us during this fresh fire daily prayer devotional, if you are praying during the middle of the day, I pray God will continue to bless you. And if you're praying at the end of your day, I thank God that he has blessed you to see yet another day to fruition. Today is day number 20 as we're praying, 21 I should say, as we're praying about life in the spirit. And day 21 has led us to the um, fifth chapter of the book of Galatians, the letter of Galatians 5 and 18 is our scripture for today as we pray about life in the spirit. Galatians 5 and 18 from the New King James Version of the Word of God says, But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Amen. As we get ready to pray about life in the Spirit today, we just want to pray and ask God to lead us by His Holy Spirit. We want to ask for God's leadership of his Holy Spirit in each and every one of our lives. Secondly, we want to pray and just thank God that we are under his grace, his unmerited favor. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come in prayer today. God, we come in that name that is above every name. We come in the name of Jesus where every knee is going to bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Lord, we come confessing that faith fact today, that Jesus, you are Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you are the Lord of our life. You are the life giver king. You are great, and you are greatly to be praised. From the rising of the sun, O oh God, and to the going down of the same, God, you are worthy of our praise. We praise you and thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity to come to you in prayer. Lord, we thank and praise you that you are the leader and the Lord of our life. We thank you, Lord God, and we ask you to lead us by your Holy Spirit. You said in the word here in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 18, if we are led by the Spirit, which means we have a choice, God, to either be led by the Spirit or or be led by other forces. Lord, today we choose to be led by you. We want to be led by your precious Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Heavenly Dove. Fill us even right now with your person and with your presence and with your power. God, we yield ourselves to you. We yield our will to you. We yield our minds to you. God, we yield even our members of our bodies to you. Lord, we want your lordship and your leadership to be evident in our life today. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for living down on the inside of us. Forgive us, Lord God, when we've not listened to your voice, when we've not heeded your instructions. Today, Lord God, starting right now, we want to be led again by you. We want to hear your voice speak to us. We want to feel your touch leading us. God, we need you, and we need to be led by you. For, Lord God, you give life, and you give it more abundantly. God, we also come grateful today, thanking you that we are not under the law, but yet, God, we are under your grace. God, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the law that tells us about our sin and tells us how to live holy. But we thank you, Lord God, for your grace, your unmerited favor, that when we fall short of your glory, and we do, when we don't obey your word, and we don't, you still extend grace to each and every one of us. Lord, you don't have to do it. Lord, we don't deserve it. But it is because of your goodness and your grace, your unmerited favor in our life, that we are blessed beyond measure. So God, we just came today just to thank you for your grace. We thank you, Lord God, that we live in your grace. And we thank you, Lord God, that your grace, your unmerited favor 
is sufficient. It is sufficient to get us past our past sins. It is sufficient to get us through our current problems. It is sufficient, Lord, to get us into what you have promised to us. So we thank you, Lord, for the leadership and the lordship of your Holy Spirit in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for the goodness of your grace being operative in our lives. So we praise you and bless you for life in the spirit. We praise you and bless you for life in Jesus Christ. We praise and bless, bless you, God, for life in the kingdom. And we just believe victory in the life of each and every one of your people. It is in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen and amen. Again, church family, thank you for praying along with us today. We prayed from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 18. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. We have a choice today, family. We can either be led by the Spirit or led by some other force that is operating in this world. Let's be led by the Holy Spirit and thank God that we live under his grace, under his unmerited favor. I'll be back to pray again with you tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.